All right, so we went to our first test and tune last night and we took the white car and I think we might have uh, messed the transmission up. We're gonna get the uh, white car out. Now you can see from the footage, I don't really think we did anything catastrophic. Uh, but it's, I've been faceplated on this car for a number of years. I guess T56 Magnum has a lot of issues with small things like roll pins and such. So we are making a pass. I know lift shifted first, second, which was the first time in years that I did that. And I went to punch third and it just wasn't there. But there was no bang, there was no pop, there was no grinding. So what we're gonna find out today is if the transmission actually got hurt or if it's maybe just a roll pin or something, maybe something easy that's a pretty quick, uh, pretty easy quick fix. You just push forward after I push back. It's gotta be in here. I'm out. Yeah, See, it's just, I'm not, I mean, it's like it, there's no resistance there. It's just clink. There just should be some clinking or resistance. Doesn't matter if I push the clutch in or not. So we got to get this base off. You guys, all right? <laughs> Smile. Smile. <laughs> They're not enthused. This is not what I want to be doing with my car. But it is what it is. All right, we'll take a quick safety check. Look at our tie rod ends. Man, I always get dirty, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's look all right. Got a little bit of wetness here, but that could have been remnants of something else. That's Now that's oil residue from, the oil dipstick likes to come out a little bit, so we gotta keep that from happening. Are you serious? It's leaking again? Yep. Bro, come on. You see it real bad Look. on this side. Yeah, I wonder if we busted that shifter. Busted what? Shifter. The base? Yeah. You think maybe? It's brand new, but it could happen. So we still have to bring the damn transmission down just to yeah. take the base off. Yeah. All right. Son of a bitch. All right. So we where do we start? We go exhaust, drive shaft. Uh, loop comes out with the... We I mean, don't technically have to take the loop at all off, but it is part of the transmission. You know what? This would probably be a good, a good thing to kind of help hold the transmission. I don't know. We got to take it out. Bring it down anyway. Yeah. So we're about ready to pull this out. Uh, we kind of saved you guys from having to see the uninstall for the 17th time, but we had this thing in there nice too. I was really kind of hoping that it wasn't going to leak anymore. Maybe it's just some silicone, at the, you know, on the base or whatever. But we're going to check. Like I said, like again. I didn't hear any big bang or click or clunk. And trust me, I've broken my share of TKO faceplates. It's exactly why I'll never run a TKO ever again. Mm -hmm. I probably broke four of them, three of them. I broke one. So, I don't think we broke the T56 mag. There's no way. I don't think, anyway. Uh, I just think that we either have a fork issue or a roll pin. Apparently there's a roll pin in here somewhere that gets sheared off, but maybe it's high tide for us to start being able to take our T56s apart anyways. I mean, that is what we do here on the channel and do our own shit for the most part. So got a couple more bolts here and then we'll get this transmission out and then we'll take a look at this base. That'll be the first thing we got to do. The last thing I wanted to be doing was bringing this thing the F out, you know. Dude, we're definitely stuck in gear so more. I mean, everything looks good. Pivot ball and all. I don't know. Let's bring it out. All right, we're gonna take this shifter off real quick and I'll take a peek inside. Like, not even. It can't be a listen. It can't be a face plated. It can't be a face plated gear. It really can't. Look, it's like stuck in fifth or sixth. Isn't that crazy? Why is it really tight? 
What's that? I said, all I know, that's really tight. Well, it's definitely stuck in gear somewhere. Because this says it's neutral. See that? Mm -hmm. I don't know where the roll pin's at in this. Okay, so let's see what happens. Change the gear. I'll go this way. Hold on a minute. Not that this is the right way to check this, but it ain't wrong. We're gonna take this plate off now too. Just take a look inside. Come up in here. Is that too close? What the hell here? What's going on here, bro? We are going to empty the fluid and see if there ain't chunks in it. Most of it should be able to come out. I don't see no chunkies. Please don't be no chunkies. Don't want to chunk. <laughs> Singing the chunky song. Look at me. Look at my face. It's the chunky song. Y'all don't know what the chunky song is. You ain't took part in no TKOs that's been broken. <laughs> By this time, it was. <laughs> it come out like a box of rocks. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we've determined is, is we are stuck in fifth or sixth gear. So this transmission will have to come apart. We've seen no chunks, which is a very good sign. I'm telling you what, breaking a gear, you would have pieces everywhere. <laughs> it would be all in the fluid. We didn't see one bit of anything in the fluid, did we? No. So, and you can see by the rail here, I mean, it's stuck in fifth or sixth. I don't know, and, you, and it's not, fifth and sixth in this transmission isn't face plated. So that's why you don't hear any tink, 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 because there's one through four is face plated. So I don't know what happened. You know what's a possibility, and I didn't even think about that. I overshifted third, went to fifth. And when I punched fifth, I bet I bent the fifth uh, rail. But nonetheless, uh, transmission's got to come apart. I'm pretty sure that we bent a rail or broke, broke a shift fork. Um, or one or the both or whatever. Still got an issue with our shifter base leaking. I don't know if that's just my transmission needs need a better vent. I don't know. But uh, this is where we're at right now. Now I got the other 297 uh, 1011 over here, which I think 1011, yeah, because 1010 is the uh, 266. And this used to be in the black car, if you guys remember. I had about 50 miles on it. And then we went to that TKX playlist thing that we were doing to try to break the TKX. <laughs> That didn't end up happening anyways. That did not end up happening, by the way. We're kind of at the point now where we're probably going to have to go to a synchronized 297 because I don't know. I mean, I need to learn how to take these things apart myself. That's kind of what we do here on the channel, but uh, we're back to square one. You know, this is racing. If I can give you any sort of uh, advice about racing is this is... You know, even street driving. I mean, this happens with anything. It, it, it's not just racing. You know, you, when you're when you're pushing your parts to the limit, block, transmission, drive shaft, axle. This is the stuff that you try to avoid, try to have you know not happen. But things like this are going to happen. This transmission has been three years of me beating the crap out of it on the street and the and the uh, and the track. So it doesn't surprise me that you know if they, if it's a bent fork or a bent rail or something, that's the least of my problems. So move around. But anyways, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and get this fluid set away because that's like $800 in fluid. Uh, it's the sh uh, lightweight shot proof. We're going to get it set up somewhere. Guys, if you enjoy this sort of content, big shout to my man, Cousin Paul here. Woo woo for helping me with uh, he's learning how to camera with us. He's trying to you know help us on the channel be a little more uh, interactive as far as, you know, so big shout to helping me right there, brother. But uh, he poured my pottle yesterday. We, we full send it, had a bunch of fun. So we'll, we'll, I'll give you some guys footage here on the way out. Enjoy it. Love y'all.
See you soon in the next video.